fell in love, he had a baby, he had a best friend, then they had a fight and a falling out. This is what I've been saying we need in The Sims for a long time. So the official gameplay trailer for The Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack comes out today, and I thought I might kind of take some time and react to it. Because after all, I am absolutely here for the gameplay when it comes to The Sims. First, I want to take a minute and thank Wild Bunny for such a sweet comment they left on one of my videos. Thank you so much. This really means a lot to me. All right, so here we go. We have about two minutes until this video premieres, and chat is just blowing up. A lot of the things I've seen people say are they want hotels back, hotels and I'm kind of hoping we will get hotels at some point in the future. I just don't think it's going to be with this pack. Another good point someone brought up is there was a doorbell in the teaser for this trailer, so maybe we're getting a doorbell too. I mean, that would be kind of fun as opposed to hearing your Sims knock at the door all the time. All right, we're down to 60 seconds. Okay, I'm, I'm ready to get into this. I figure we can watch it through one time and react, and then we can go back and kind of pick apart the things that come out. By the way, side note, I love this new door and these windows that are in this. That, th those are just beautiful. All right, so the countdown has started. We're, we're into this now. Oh, what are some big things I'm hoping for? It's gonna sound a little silly. I'm hoping they bring back karate in The Sims 4 at some point. Like, that was my one of my favorite things from The Sims 3 World Adventures. Like, I loved the karate, and I think it'd just be really fun to give the kids that activity. Although, to be honest, I kind of feel like this pack may be centered maybe a little more around the babies and the family as a whole. But I do wish at some point they'll do a pack just for kids. Oh, who came up with, with this design right here? Like, half the numbers I can't even read. Rate a T for teen. Picturesque neighborhood of Hopewell Hills. Okay. We find the Michelsons. A recent addition to the family has instigated oh gosh. an New, newborn baby face. And uninvited guest. Oh. The doting grandparent. So, so. Oh, an unexpected we'll guest. Temporary stay to explore the family dynamic. Okay, so the they showed up unexpectedly. Life, the personalities that can connect us or push us apart, and how all of it. <laughs> is simply a matter of perspective. Okay. Let's first examine the married couple's reaction to Celeste's father's unannounced arrival. Ooh. Fortunately, their family oh. dynamic is set to close. Oh, that is As so cool. Them, so, this relationship so you can set setting, your, you will, your relationship has like the that? Test of time, thanks to the social compatibilities they share. Oh. Throw in the many milestones they've achieved together. The joy they have for okay. Ryan joining the family. So and it's, they seem it's to almost be like a little bit Sebastian's of a memory help system. In growing their family together. Uh -huh. so, so. Sebastian is very <laughs> protective of his daughter, which is why he's even more critical of Christopher. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Christopher per se. He and Sebastian just have Okay, so they just they they don't get along. <laughs> Sebastian has lived a long fulfilling life. The oh, the body boy. marks! That's that's what I'm saying. But he still has much to learn. Especially oh, wow. when it comes to the man who makes his daughter happy. Okay, so so I noticed he went back through memories Orion's and stuff of his life, so that's making me really, really hopeful that we're going to be getting a memory system. Everyone to adjust. Oh, and but you can oh you she's can set a di family dynamic between the kids After too. All, an infant's world. Is full oh, and I'm wondering what these little bubbles are popping up are. Are are those memories? Atlas, the once oh. king of the castle, how he misses the day. Okay, I'm when seeing he had the pictures. I'm really hoping they're updating the finger. the photo system. He has always had a great relationship with his grandpa Sebastian. Oh. These two troublemakers might as well be the this same. This makes me person. so happy to see grandparent relationship. This old jokester has come to play with him, oh. not the enemy. The enemy. <laughs> the family dynamic is not something easily defined. Aww. But growing together through all of life's many surprises. Growing together, means that's the name. Oh. Has a different point of view. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so that was a really, really cute. So let's go through it. Let's see if there are anything, anything that we can pick out of the trailer. This really looks a lot more suburban to me. I, I think for some reason in my mind, I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more of a city. So I am happy to see that it's more suburban based. I am still ridiculously shocked that little Simsy did not build the blue suburban, but whatever. Lots of toys and stuff. The house being in chaos, which okay, fine. Grandpa shows up. 
All right, in this scene, we see the moving case, which it was addressed that that is an unexpected visit. I am noticing the stair rails right here, and I'm hoping that maybe this means that they have fixed the issue where the stair rails kind of clip in the wall. So I don't know, fingers crossed. Okay, look right right behind her. That archway is kind of like a, an, an indoor archway, so almost like a double door. So that's a really cool feature we could be getting. All right, so this is something I'm really excited about. You can kind of set your household relationships. They're married and their dynamics looks like can be distant, jokester, or close. I don't know if those are the only three or if there's a scroll down option, but I, I like that. You can have a wife who maybe you're distant with or, you know, you and your spouse can be jokesters. That, that adds a lot more depth to the game. Also, I had to go through frame by frame to find this, but this is that big archway. That is amazing. I love that archway. I'm assuming likes and dislikes now accompany the social compatibility system. So good compatibility. So like you're, it matters if your sims like or dislike the same things. It plays into it. And then with these little bubbles, I'm, I'm really hoping that's a memory system. Like this scene right here is talking about like, I don't know, maybe maybe the first time they said I love you or fall in love. And then this one, it's their wedding. And then over here, the first time they had a baby. So yes, I am definitely hoping this is a memory system. Which by the way, these babies are so freaking cute. All right, and then it kind of goes in the direction of the father-in-law and son-in-law who have completely different likes and dislikes. I will say I am not 100% certain if this particular one is one we have already. I noticed with the grandson and grandpa there was a jokester thing, so maybe that's a new like or dislike, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So they have bad compatibility, obviously. All right, but this is what makes me really think it's a memory system. Like, this is going through the dad's memories. Like, this, this is, you know, maybe him meeting her mom, having her... I'm, I'm not sure about this one. I, I'm, I'm not sure who he's with. I will say I like those body marks on him, the moles. Maybe this is like supposed to be his best friend he's hanging out with. And then they got into a fight. I'm I'm not sure. But you, you can have bad memories too. So okay. And he lost his job. Okay. So you, you know, I, that, that shows like memories of his whole life. You know, he was happy. He fell in love. He had a baby. He had a best friend. Then they had a fight and a falling out. And now he's lost his job. And this is what I've been saying we need in The Sims for a long time. We need a story system. Oh, and I love this. So he has a lot of depth of character. So this whole thing adds a ton of depth into your Sims, which is really, really fun. And then their family dynamics. So, okay, we have close, distant, difficult, or jokester. So, you know, the different dynamics between different people. This is fun. So he doesn't like his sister. Obviously, you know, new sibling rivalry and all that. If this is a memory system, the baby has memories too. So the baby's gonna remember having a stinky diaper. <laughs> And getting her first bath. Oh, that's so cute to see the baby bath in the bathtub. Although secretly, I do kind of hope you can bathe the babies in the sink. Because I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too southern. But we always just put the babies in the sink and wash. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm a little too southern. Babies rolling over, learning to crawl, eating food. I hope those high chairs work a lot better for babies than for toddlers. And learning to stand up. So the, these could be like different milestones also maybe. So it, maybe it's not just a memory system. Maybe it's a, like a milestone system also. So this shows, you know, the boy, you know, being jealous. He misses having his parents all to himself, all the play. And I love that hug interaction. Oh, look at that mirror in the background. That mirror is really pretty. All right, so and then this goes and shows the relationship between grandpa and kid, you know, having jokesters and pranksters. First time to ride a bike. And of course the tooth berry. I was really hoping we would get a little more, you know, sense for the tooth berry, but maybe not. And grandpa can't cook apparently. There was a fire. So like they both share the fire. I, I, fire wouldn't really be a milestone. That would be a memory. So the, I, it's almost like they've combined the two. And the baby's drool. Oh my gosh. So it just really incorporates all the kinds of relationships you can have in the game. And it makes them a lot more, a lot deeper. I would like to see if this relationship feature goes into people beyond your family. So like, let's say you have a best friend, you know, what your relationship is there. But this is really good. Again, still can't believe Lil Simsy didn't build that. I am really excited for everything that it showed in that trailer. That was an amazing trailer. And 
Oh, I'm so excited for the milestones and the memories. That is going to add so much depth to the game. There are so many more stories you can tell with that. And that is what I genuinely love about The Sims is all the different kinds of stories you can create. Speaking of stories, I have been working on a Let's Play lately that involves a homeless kid who goes around doing all these shenanigans trying to make her way in San Machino. It's hilarious. So if you haven't watched that yet, go ahead and check that video out here. And I will see everyone next time. Bye.